I like to think that lately there's been a lot of, let's say, thinking and like mindset kind of questions and stories and just stuff floating around out there. And it's like kind of your state of mind as a person and on where you stand with things determines a lot on how you kind of go through and just make out everything, if that makes sense. Like, if you have a certain mindset about something, you're going to, let's say, go out and handle a situation differently than you would if you had let's say, a completely different mindset or thought on something. Kind of like, let's say, okay, so let's put it in this perspective, maybe. A state of mind is where you're at now when it comes to thinking about, like, now. Where you're at and what keeps you going, why you're doing what you're doing. And it kind of, it's like, should I keep going, moving on, and whatnot, maybe? Like, let's put this. So, I was, I've been thinking... Like, past days, it's kind of like, I got back into the mindset where it was like, I'm so done with everything. I just want to get out of high school. I want to get in the freaking, get the four years of college over with, or five years, however many it's going to take, and get my ass in the core and in the military and just get it done with. You know, I want to be there right now. There's nothing, there's no reason for me to be here right now. There's nothing for me right now. Just waiting and waiting and waiting. You know, it's because it's like, it goes back to the whole sort of where it's like I don't even want to go to college really it's more or less something that you have to do to that I have to do to set up for my future and make sure that I have a steady and sort of well like just so I have somewhere to go and I have something to fall back on if the whole military career thing wouldn't work out and I also kind of came in retrospect and into perspective about how the whole, like, the whole idea of doing it through the Navy and everything and or other branches besides the Army, it just wasn't me. It was more or less doing it to earn everyone else's go-ahead and earn, like, so they would be happy. It wasn't making really me happy. It was more of a let's make everybody else happy kind of thing. And, like, there's nothing wrong with that in a way, but it was kind of like when you I was doing the reading on it, and it was like, well, I mean, if I do it this way... Um, I might as well just go in college and get like a degree in nuclear engineering and I have no desire to learn about that and you know what I mean a lot of the things that you would set you up for that career path that you're looking for aren't necessarily things that you want to do but the things that you kind of have to do in a way to set up yourself with a solid career path whether or not for the four years or five years you're in and then whether or not you remain in and make a career out of that and retire, let's say, 20 years down the road, or if you go out right after your four or five years and you try to pursue a career doing something else, like an actual, let's say, quote-unquote job or whatever, you know what I mean? A technical job, something where you're making, like, $20 an hour, those kind of, you know, like a full-time actual support yourself and a family job, you know what I mean? Because, like... In today's world, it's kind of like people think that, you know, the whole minimum wage job thing you can really live off of. You can. There's no way that you can. It's possible. It's just not, in my opinion, a comfortable living. You know, it's possible to do, and people do it all the time, but it's not that comfortable living, and it's not the way you're supposed to live. You're supposed to go to school. You're supposed to get a degree. You're supposed to be and learn technical skills so you can go out there and work a technical job where you make the quote-unquote 15 to 30 to $40 an hour thing. You know, that's the kind of money that you're supposed to make in life. You're supposed to make 40 grand, 50, 60 grand a year. That's what you're supposed to make comfortably. Okay? I mean, like, it's when you look at the military pay stubs and the, and the prices and all that, it goes as if that is bullshit right there, ruining it, just ruins it right there. Look at that. But it's kind of like when you look at it in that perspective and you look at the pay subs of the military, overall the salary for like let's say either an enlisted man or an officer is a little bit less than an average job that would relate to it in the civilian world. But when you include expenses, tax incentives, and all that other stuff, it balances out and you're up like 
five to ten grand every time. Like it completely obliterates it and makes it way better. And you get free healthcare. So, <laughs> I mean, hey, what are you gonna do about it? But I don't know. It's kind of just like you talked. I've been talking to people about like the future, and because it's like you know, it's right there. It's senior, going into senior year. You have to have it planned out. You have to start filling out all the forms and applying to all the places, and getting everything set up. So come this time next year, in August and September, we're going off to college. We're we're getting all of our stuff done, and it's all in playing getting accomplished. That's where you have to be, and that's where you want to be in the time from now. And to do that, you have to kind of think about it, talk about it, weigh out your incentives, figure out what you want to do, and what you want to make you happy. You know, a lot of people don't look at things when they, um, nowadays it's more of a thing, and it still always has been. When people think about what they're going to go to college for, they don't think about what they're going to do after college. They think about, I just want to learn this in college, not where that's going to take me after college, not what job I can get, not how I can support myself with the degree or the knowledge I've acquired throughout college. They're not sure where that's going to take them. You don't think about that. You're just like, oh my gosh, I'm going to college. I need to pick something to study. No, you have to make sure that whatever field or whatever you study, there's something there when you get out. You know, for me, going into the ROTC program, hopefully getting accepted into that, it's more or less that I go into college and do it some sort of engineering degree, partially because I want to, but also because the engineering degrees help a lot, a lot in establishing yourself in the in like the military because that's where it's at and then you also have to take leadership courses and leadership classes and learn how to be a leader so regardless of whether or not you stay in after four or five years you're gonna have those leadership courses those that engineering um, degree that can establish you can easily establish yourself as a already above the average worker at your job because you have the leadership courses you've been in the military for four years and you have the leadership experience that you need to be in charge of people and be able to make sure their tasks are accomplished by the deadlines and things. You know, that's one of the things too about the military. People, um, it's it's a free education. You know, granted, you have to do have to do four years of your life doing something in the military, but you get to choose what that is. And there's so many things out that you can choose from that it's stupid not to do it and to, um, in a way, go out there and see what there is and figure it out because you have you learn a lot and you get. A lot of um, a lot of good work ethic, work ethic and experience behind it all, and you're getting paid to do it. You know, like a lot of people say, I would never do that, but you've kind of got to grow and expand. You have to leave home. You have to go out there. You know, I want to go to college close to home so I can stay and live at home. You know what I mean? And that's another thing that drew the Navy thing away is that there was only two schools in Ohio that have the Navy ROTC program. And the other closest schools that were there, there was a couple in Pennsylvania that drew my eye and one in Michigan, and that was it. So that program is very small as is, and I want to stay in state, and I want to be able to drive to and from home and maybe still work a job on the side of this, even though I'm getting paid for college and expenses and incentives and all that stuff. It's all still going to be there, but I want it because I know that after four years of college are gone, most likely... I'm going to be shipped overseas somewhere for, I don't know, what is it like? I try to think about it. It depends what branch you're in and what you're going in is and how long your your tours are and, like, where you focus in and whatnot because it's like in, let's say, in this way, I go in as an infantry officer per se. I maybe do a two-month tour somewhere, come back for a couple weeks and go back for, like, a three-month tour. It's like stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like, you're not there all the time, but you're not here all the time either. It's like a back and forth kind of thing. And that's just kind of how it goes. But then, like, let's say you're in the Navy and you're on a ship. You go overseas for six months, come back for maybe a month, and then you're back overseas for another six months to a year. You know? It's that kind of thing. It all depends. You don't really know where you're going to go and where it's going to take you. So you kind of have to make sure that you have the right mindset now. You're going out there. You're doing what you want. You're figuring out what you want in life. And... You're doing it, you know, you're making yourself proud of yourself now so that in the future when you can't really do everything, you've made sure you've accomplished as much of what you want to do as possible. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's my overall like mindset about everything right now. It's that I need to worry about the now and making sure that I'm happy now. I figure out what I want to do now 
whether or not I could, whether or not it's something that I could do later, but something that I'm able to do now, so I don't have to worry about having to do it later. An experience that I want to live out now, not later. You know, that's the, that's like the key thing, is that you have to do what you could do later now, so you don't have to worry about doing it later. Because if you worry about doing it later, you might not be able to do it, because you have no idea what the future holds. You know what now holds. Now. This time. Right now. You know what's happening now. You control it. You can do whatever you want. You have to make the best of it. You have to figure out what you want, and you have to go and get it. Have the right mindset, and go and get what you want. So... That's more of like a future kind of thing, but I'm trying to think about an idea for something that I could do weekly on this thing, on this channel here, because I really miss it. Let's Play thing isn't really cutting it, but check out that channel, 1601 KSG, Black Dildo Action. That's what it was. It's so funny. Old ass shit, but it's been fun, everybody. You have a good day now, and um, you stay motivated. Don't stress out about things, because you don't need that. So have a great day, and I'll talk to everyone later.